What's up guys, welcome back, Patrick here. In this video, we have to determine whether each of these relations is a function or not. So let's go through them one by one. So we got number one here, y equals three minus x. Now, what kind of relation is this? Notice that this is just a line. So we can rewrite this line as negative x plus three. Right, so y equals mx plus b form. So the b value is three. That is what? That's always the y-intercept as a review. And then there's like a negative one in front of the x. So that there is the slope. So if we were to roughly draw this, the y-intercept would be three. So that would be up here. And then the slope would be negative one. So it's like negative one over one. So you would uh, rise down by one and then run by one. Rise down by one, run by one. So roughly this line would look something like that, right? A downward sloping line. And then this is at three. If you want something more precise, you can throw this in a table of values, pick a bunch of X values, plot them, et cetera, et cetera. I'm just uh, drawing a rough diagram for now. So this is the diagram for this line. Is it a function or not? Well, let's run the vertical line test. If we run a vertical line through this, notice that there's no points that are gonna to touch twice on this line, on the vertical line. So that means that this is a function. In fact, you may wanna make a note that every line is a function except for a vertical line. So let's say we had a vertical line, maybe let's say x equals four. So x equals four would look something like this. A vertical line is not a function because notice there's multiple points on this line that's touching a vertical line when we run it through. But any other line other than a vertical line is always gonna be a function, whether a downward sloping line or a positive sloping line, even a horizontal line. So let's say this line would be like y equals, I don't know, negative two that's gonna be a function because it passes the vertical line test. This positive line passes the vertical line test. The only type of line that is never a function is a vertical line because that's gonna fail the vertical line test. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, we got x squared plus y squared equals 16. If you remember, this is a circle, right? So we got x squared plus y squared equals r squared. That is the general format for a circle. So if we want the radius of this circle, we would just square root 16, which would give us four. So if we were to graph this, the intercepts would be four, four, negative four, negative four, and you would just draw a circle like that. All right, so this graph here is x squared plus y squared equals 16. So is this a function or not? Run the vertical line test? No, it's not a function. Because so notice here and here, for example, at that x value, there's two y values. At the next x value, there's two y values, right? So there's so many times where there's two y values for an x value. So we know that this is not a function. And in fact, in general, a circle is never a function. It's always going to fail the vertical line test. So whenever you see something in this format, you know right away it's not a function because it's a circle. But if you want to show it visually, you can graph it and just say that it doesn't pass the vertical line test. Number three, we got y equals x squared minus x minus six. If you remember, this is a parabola here, and this actually factors smoothly. This factors into x minus three, x plus two. If you remember from grade 10, we're going to be doing a whole unit on quadratics, so I'm not going to go into too much detail right now about how to graph this, but this is still from grade 10. So from here, this factors into that. X intercepts, X equals 3, X equals negative 2, so negative 2 over here, uh, positive 3 is over there, and the A value is 1. So this parabola is going to open up because the a value is positive. So this roughly is going to look something like that, right? Not exact. Again, if you want, you can make a table of values if you want an exact graph, but it's going to look something like this. 
Is it a function or not? If we run a vertical line through it, notice that it's going to pass the vertical line test. There's not going to be any points, any y values, any two y values for one x value. So this is a function. It passes the vertical line test. And in fact, in general, every parabola is always going to be a function, unless it's a sideways parabola, like number four. But we will get to that. But any normal parabola, whether it opens up, whether it opens down, it's always going to be a function. It's always going to pass the vertical line test. Then number four, we got x equals y squared minus one. This one's a little bit weird. The way I'm going to do this, I'm actually going to isolate for y here. So I'm going to bring the negative one over. So I'll have x plus one equals y squared. And then square root both sides to get the y by itself. And remember the square root of something? It's always plus or minus. So I'm actually going to make a table of values for this. Notice that the square root, under the square root, you can never have a negative number, right? You can't square root a negative number. So notice the x values, they all have to be negative 1 or more, right? Because if it's less than negative 1, so for example, if we plug in negative 2 for x, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, can't take the square root of negative 1. So all the x values are going to be at least negative 1 or greater than that. So if x is negative 1, what is y going to be? Well, negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Square root of 0 is just 0. What if we plug in uh, 0 here for x? Well, 0 plus 1 is 1. Square root of 1 is plus or minus 1. So there's going to be two y values there, plus or minus 1. What if we plug in 1 for x? Well, if we plug in 1 for x, we actually won't get a smooth number for y because it's going to be 1 plus 1, which is 2, and the square root of 2 is some kind of decimal. So let's pick x values where we're going to continue having smooth numbers. So 3, 3 works. So if I plug in 3 for x, 3 plus 1 is 4, square root of 4 is plus or minus 2. And that's actually enough points to create a graph for now. So if I draw this out, negative 1 and 0, that is here. 0 and plus or minus 1, so 0 plus 1, 0 minus 1, that's here. And then 3 plus or minus 2, that's like here and here, right? That's 3 and this is negative 2, this is positive 2. So again, this is just a sideways parabola when you graph it. Okay, and then uh, is this a function or not? Run the vertical line through it. Notice it's going to fail everywhere. Basically, there's multiple dependent variables for independent variables. So zero, uh, the independent variable zero has two dependent variables, plus one and minus one. Three, that independent variable has two dependent variables, plus two, minus two. So it's going to be failing the vertical line test. So it is not a function. So if you get questions like this, my suggestion is to try and graph them in different ways. You may have to go back to grade 10 a bit, review how to graph certain functions. But once you graph them, you could run the vertical line test, then you could see is it a function or not.